When I first started making YouTube videos, one of the main reasons I did it was that I got tired of typing the same answers again and again on RC groups. Uh, and I thought, well, if I'm going to answer the question once, I should just answer it once, and then I should have a YouTube video I can just refer people to so they can get the answer every time in the future. And that has worked really well for me, actually. And if you've ever asked me a question and I've responded with a YouTube URL, uh, please rest assured I'm not trying to be rude. It's just that uh, if I gave everyone a personal, individualized answer, I would go crazy and I would waste a lot of time. Um, and in fact, I am go I'm going a little bit crazy right now because there's one question that I get asked and I feel like I answer it more often than any other question. And instead of me going crazy, <laughs> I should just accept that this is a really confusing thing that many, many people have a problem with and I should make a video about it. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna make a video about the most confusing common question in all of this whole freaking multi-rotor hobby, which is why do your motors do weird things like spin up slowly or when you arm the copter with the props off on the bench? The first thing I wanna to explain to you is that when you use the motor sliders like so, The PID loop is not active. The flight controller is not in any way trying to stabilize the copter. And you can see that if I spin the motors, nothing happens here, right? All we're doing is we're feeding a PWM value, 1100 microseconds or whatever, into the ESCs and the ESCs are spinning the motors at a constant speed. On the other hand, if I get my transmitter and I arm, now, now the PID loop is active. The flight controller is trying to stabilize the copter against external forces, okay? And you can see that the motors are not spinning at a constant speed. Rather, they're kind of going up and down. The motors are mostly staying close to min throttle, but they're not staying exactly at min throttle because there are little vibrations happening and the PID loop is trying to compensate for them. If I pick the copter up and I move the copter, you can see the motors trying to counteract that. And which way I move the copter depends on which motors respond, right? Okay, the PID loop is active and it is trying to respond to the things that the copter is doing. It's trying to counteract the uncommanded motions that are occurring. Now, if I raise the throttle slightly, watch what happens. Can you see that two of the motors are spinning down and two of the motors are slowly spinning up? Here they go. Okay, now I've zeroed the throttle and I'm gonna disarm. Why did that happen? The reason that happened is that there are little micro vibrations happening. The PID loop is trying to counteract them, but it can't because the props are not on. The props are the main way that the PID loop translates uh, re its, its commands into motion of the copter. And without props, you really can't do that. What happens then is that there is a feedback loop where the PID controller tries to counteract the things that are happening, the little micro vibrations that doesn't work. And so the PID controller tries harder and harder and harder and harder, and it keeps not working. And therefore, the motor sort of slowly spool up uh, to, uh, sometimes to maximum. So what should you do if your motors are doing what I just demonstrated? The first thing you should know is that this it means nothing. It means nothing that your motors are being weird like that when the props are off and the co copter is on the bench. Sometimes the motors act weird like that in, in response to a problem, but sometimes they act weird like that and it's a completely innocuous, and it's not easy for most people to tell the difference. It's not easy sometimes for experts to tell the difference. So what you should do is you should check to make sure that the copter's ready to fly. Make sure that the uh, motors are wired up to the correct motor header. Make sure that the motors are spinning the right direction. Make sure that the props are on correctly, that you don't have a clockwise prop on a counterclockwise motor or vice versa. 
and make sure that the 3D model, when you move the copter by hand, the 3D model on the setup tab rolls left, right, pitches forward, back, yaws left, right, exactly correctly. If all of those things check out, then the next thing you should do is you should go hover the copter. Go somewhere safe, because if anything is wrong, the copter can flip out. Make sure you've tested your fail safe. With the props off, arm the copter, turn your transmitter off. Look at the motor should shut down. Go somewhere safe. Stand well back. Stand 30 feet back from the copter, 50 feet back from the copter in case it flips out. Arm the copter. Begin to throttle up. Be ready to disarm the copter if anything goes wrong and hover the copter. It will probably be fine. If anything does go wrong in your hover test, then you may have an issue. But that issue is independent of what you're observing here. What you're seeing here in the motors tab is completely normal. It's just a factor of the PID loop experiencing random vibrations and not having props on. It means nothing. If at this point you are thinking to yourself, but wait a minute, the motors are not spinning at min throttle, but wait a minute, the motors are spinning up and I'm not giving any stick input, but wait a minute, go back and just watch this video again. Because half the time when I tell people this in person, they, they, they don't get it because it's so counterintuitive. I don't know why it's so counterintuitive and so confusing, but it obviously is because so often when I, when I tell people this, they, they, they want to argue. I mean, they don't mean to be arguing, but they're like, no, 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 but you don't understand. Yes, I do. And my answer is the same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. I will be sending a lot of people the link to this video in the future. And I, this, this was, I, I must have answered this question three times today. And finally, just now, someone asked me it and I found myself typing it out. And I went, uh, I'm making this video right now. I'm making it right now. And I stopped everything I was doing and I made this video. And I'm gonna go edit it and post it this exact minute and I will then hopefully, I will say some, take some deep breaths and meditate and happy fun.